Hello friends, very good morning. Myself, Professor M. H. Annaya and in today's video, we are going to learn about the design of a flange coupling and the question for today's video reads like this. In a flange coupling used to connect two coaxial shafts of diameter 80 mm to transmit 50 kilowatts at 200 rpm. So there is a flange coupling which is used to transmit power of 50 kilowatts at 200 rpm. And uh, friend they have given there are six number of bolts of M14 into 1.5 used on a bolt circle diameter of 250. They are given the bolt circle dia, the number of bolts is given and they have also given us the thickness of the flange and the hub dia. So almost all the data they have given. For this data, we have been asked to find out what is the shear stress in the shaft which we call as tau s. Shear stress in the shaft, s stands for shaft. The shear stress induced in the bolts and we denote as tau b, shear stress in the bolt. The shear stress induced in the key that is tau k. And finally, the shear stress induced in the flanges that is tau f. So we have to evaluate these four, four parameters and uh, all other data is given like what is the power to be transmitted, what are the number of bolts used etc. So we will take up this problem in series that is from A what is the shear space induced in the shop etc. So basically friends as I have told you in some of the old videos the recently no no done videos that the power transmitted by the bolt, the shaft, the key and the flanges are all the same. And in this question, it has been given to transmit 50 kilowatts at 200 rpm. So basically we need to have the torque transmitted. So let us find out what is MT. Step number one to find the MT. To find M. Mt is the torque transmitted. So friends, we have the formula for Mt given by 9550 into capital N divided by small n into 10 to the power of 3. So here this capital N is the power transmitted and it is given as 50 kW, 50 kilowatts. And the small n is the speed of rotation of the coupling. So it is given as 200 rpm. And friends, you can substitute and find the value of Mt. That is 9550 into 50 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by the rpm 200. Friends, if you simplify, this works out to 2865 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton millimeter. So this is the amount of torque to be transmitted by all the components of the coupling. So friends, using this data, let us go to part 1, 2, 3, etc. of the problem. So friends, next the first part is to find the shear stress. A to find shear stress in key, shaft sorry shear stress in shaft and this is denoted by tau s tau s friends there is a relation between the torque transmitted and the shaft dia given by the equation mt is equal to pi d q by 16 into eta into tau s where this tau s is the shear space induced in the shaft and we need to find out what is tau s so to find out this 
we have to know what is mt d etc so mt value you have calculated as 2865 into 10 to the power of 3 is the torque transmitted multiplied by 5 by 16 the shock diameter is given to be 80 millimeter so 80 q eta is the q wave factor we generally take it as 0.75 to 0.8 say 0.75 and the only unknown is tau s so friends you will be able to find out what is tau s that is the shear space induced in the shaft and that works out to 37.99 newton per mm square this is the answer for the first part of the question that is the shear stress induced in the shaft friends we will move on to the second part of the question the second part is the shear stress induced in the bolts friends the moment you get that shear stress induced in the bolt already we have done in the previous videos that there is only one equation which connects the torque transmitted with the shear stress induced in the bolt and the core area and that is given by for the part, second part we will say to find tau b means shear stress in the bolt the only equation we have is mt bolts is equal to i Phi d1 square by 4 into tau b into d1 by 2. Friends, this is available in the machine design data handbook. Friends, what are these? Friends, this empty bolts is equal to empty shaft is equal to empty k key. So, it is going to be 2865 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton millimeter. Next. I, I stands for the number of bolts used in the coupling. So it has been specified as 6, 6 number of M14 into, <coughs> excuse, 6 number of bolts are there. Friends, by chance this is not given, then you should know how to find out because there is a relation connecting the shaft diameter with the number of bolts given as point that is i is equal to point not to d plus c is the formula so in case if it were not given you would have used this data because you know the shaft diameter you would have got the value of y and since it has been specified in the problem we need to use the same value that i have taken six i stands for the number of bolts this pi d1 square by 4, I will call it as AC. AC means the core area of the bolt. And then tau b is a shear stress in the bolt which is to be evaluated. So I put it in a box to be found out. And friends, d1 stands for the bolt circle diameter. That is the diameter around which or on which the bolts are mounted on the flanges. So, friends, it has been given as 240 mm, 240. So, friends, sometimes just to confuse, instead of giving the bolt circle dia, they will give you the whole quantity that is d1 by 2, which is pitch circle or bolt circle radius. You should be very careful. Friends, here. You know, this Toby is to be evaluated. That is possible only if you know AC. AC means core area. Friends, in the previous videos, we have learned that when the bolt size is known to us, when a standard size of the bolt is known to us, we will be able to find out what is the core area. And if you know the size of the bolt, you get the core area. And if you know the core area, you can find out what is the size of the bolts to be used. So friends, AC, for this they have given, there are 
M14 into 1.5 volts. What does it mean? The volts used in the coupling are designated by this, where this M14 into 1.5 volts means that is a metric screw thread having 14 millimeter nominal dia and 1.5 millimeter pitch. So if referred to the machine design data handbook corresponding to this M14 into 1.5 volts, you get core area equal to 125 mm square. This is 125 mm square for the M14 into 1.5 volts. This is obtained from the machine design handbook MPH. Friends, we have this value. We will put AC equal to 125 and arrive at the value of tau B. This is 125. So friends, I write, we write this as 2865 into 10 power 3. That is 6 times AC is 125 millimeter square. Tau B is unknown. And this is 120. So friends, if you simplify this, we get the shear stress induced in the board equal to 31.33 31.33 Newton per mm square. Friends, we have found out what is tau S, the shear stress induced in the shaft. Next, the shear stress induced in the board. Next, you will have to find out what is tau K. Friends, you write down to find C tau K. To find tau K. Tau K is the shear stress induced in the key. Friends, to find out the shear stress induced in the key, we have to know what are the dimensions of the key. Then how to find out the dimensions of the key? Whenever the shock diameter small d is known to us, there is a table in the machine design data handbook which will give you the values of B and H directly. For example, there is a table which is almost like this. So there is a column which indicates diameter and here the value of B and the value of H. So corresponding to 80 mm diameter, by referring to this table, we will get the value of this B and H. B is 22, you will get and H is equal to 14 millimeter. So we will write a small statement here so that it becomes easy for you to understand. So I will write down corresponding to corresponding to shaft dia D equal to 80 mm comma key width or width of key that is B equal to 22 mm and key thickness or thickness of key which is designated by H that is equal to 14 mm. So we have the key dimensions corresponding to the shaft diameter given to us. Friends, now if you observe this key width and key thickness, you find that the width of the key by comparing these two, you find key width, width is equal to 22 millimeter, which is greater than H, which is equal to 14 mm. So what does it indicate? Whenever B is greater than H, the thickness of the key, then the key fails in crushing before it fails by shear. So we have to make use of the equation of key failing in crushing to find out what is the length of the key. So 
तो फ्रेंड्स राइट यहां तक कि इन क्रशिंग आर इन कंप्रेशन इज गिवन बाय अ फॉर्मूला एच बाय टू इनटू एल इनटू सिग्मा सी इनटू डी बाय टू फ्रेंड्स दिस ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिराइव्ड इन वन ऑफ आवर ओल्ड वीडियोस एंड यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू इट फ्रेंड्स एम टी की इन कंप्रेशन एम टी इज सेम दैट इज टू एट सिक्स फाइव इंटू टेन टू दावर ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू एच बाई टू एच इज थिकनेस दैट इज फोर्टीन एम एम डिवाइड बाय टू यल इज द लेंथ ऑफ द की इट इज अनोन एंड फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सिग्मा सी सिग्मा सी इज गिवन टू बी एटीन generally friends the compressive stress will be generally 50% of sorry two times the shear stress that is 80 in case if it is not given you can approximate as two times the shear stress d by 2 is 80 by 2 friends from this you will be able to evaluate what is the length of key required for this and friends this length of key works out to 127.9 127.9 mm so friends the sharp diameter is given based on the sharp dia we obtain the standard width of the key thickness of the key and also the length of the key so in the third part we need to find out the shear stress in the key so based on this length let us see what is the formula we have also we can write down m t key in shear triple by shear that is given by v l to k d by 2 friends this also we have already derived in one of the previous videos of mine you can please go through that friends this is known to us mt key 2865 into 10 to the power of 3 b is the width of the key is 22 the length of the key just now we have derived it is 127.9 then we have got this stroke a shear is in the key to be found out D by two is A T by two. Friends, you will be able to find out the value of two K, and this works out to twenty five point four five, twenty five point four five newton per mm square. Friends, we have got the value of two K. Finally, we need to find out. What is tau f? That is the shear stress induced in the flange. Friends, the only equation in the machine design data handbook which connects the shear stress in the flange, flange thickness, and the torque is m t flange, the torque transmitted by the flange. Is equal to T by D two tau f D two by two. Friend, this is available in MDH machine design data handbook. So one need not remember this. So here this quantity tau f is to be found out. Excepting this, all other quantities are known. So what is this empty flange? Is M S M T show S M S M T key two eight six five into ten to the power of three. Then T stands for the thickness of the flange, or the the flange thickness or web thickness is twenty mm. So I will substitute twenty given in the question multiplied by by D two is the half diameter, and half diameter is. One fifty millimeter, 
Friends, generally, the thumb rule in branch coupling says that if D is the sharp dia, the hub diameter will be approximately twice the sharp dia and the bolt circle dia, where the bolts are located, is three times the sharp dia. And finally, the outermost dia or maximum diameter of the coupling, that is the diameter of the flange, is four times the sharp dia. It is only a thumb rule. And since you have got standard equations, you have to make use of them. So and this is given to be 150. Then we have got this 12 f under question mark. The D2 by 2 is 150 by 2. Friends, if you simplify, you get 12 f is equal to 4.053 Newton per mm square. Friends, we have solved the problem completely and this is one of the examination questions and the favorite question of examiners and it covers all the components of the coupling in detail. Friends, please go through my video completely and if you find this useful and interesting, please share the information with all your friends and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.